let's suppose that we need to configure a new Cisco ASA. Uh, the basic configuration means that we have a local network, we have uh, the connection to the Internet, and we need to allow our inside users to go to the Internet. So, basic things that we need to do are to define the interfaces, the inside and the outside interfaces. Then we should define the default gateway in order that our ASA knew where to send all incoming packets. And then uh, we need to make network address translation in order uh, for our uh, private addresses of our LAN could be translated into the public address of the ASA. So this is a simulation of the diagram on the GNS3. This router will act as an internal host and this as the internet. First that we need to do is to configure two interfaces. This is completely empty, Cisco ASA, and it has four gigabit Ethernet interfaces. I will use gigabit 0 as an external outside interface and gigabit 1 as an internal. So we need to go into the configurational mode, enter the configuration of the first interface and assign an IP address, name if and security level. Then IP address will be from the diagram. This one 200, 150, 102. And the mask like this. Then name if name if outside. Look here. The security level is set to zero by default. This means that the firewall will use this interface as an external one and all traffic which will come from the internet from here to this interface will be blocked by default. Now we should enable it with the command no shutdown and configure another interface. Gigabit 1. The IP address will be like this. An address of the gateway of our local network. Now shut down and name if inside. This interface is set to 100 by default. The uh, security level is set to 100 by default. This means that uh, the interface, uh, all traffic which comes into this interface from the local network will be accepted and allowed to forward. This will work only until the moment when you will create an access list and assign it to the interface. Until that, everything will be passed from here to here. The next thing that we should do is to configure the default gateway for our firewall. This will be the address, the nearest address of the external network of the Internet and it will be the address of the Internet Service Provider. Now let's return to the configuration and type this command root outside. This is our external interface and this will be the direction of the traffic. Root outside then 8 times zeros and now the address of the ISP. Yes. Now it is time for a little check. From this moment we should be able to ping all our neighbors, our internal LAN and the ISP. So type ping and the address of the ISP. Excellent. Successful. Now our internal LAN. I have configured a router with the IP address of uh, 192.168.10.5. Excellent. Successful too.
and of course it works because I have plugged all the interfaces before configuring the Cisco ASA. They are green and they are working. I have also configured the loopback address here on this router. This will be 8888 and this will represent the internet, not the default gateway of the ISP, but the address somewhere in the internet. So let's try to ping it. As you can see it is successful and from now we have reachability from our firewall to all hosts, even in the LAN and in the internet. But if we'll go to our, one of our LAN hosts and try to ping something from there, we will realize that we can access only the internal address, internal interface of our AC. This is because we haven't defined the NAT rules on our firewall, network address translation. Until that, we won't be able to access anything from our local host. Let's check it. I will go to this router, to the configuration, and look here. It has only one interface here, with this address, and its default gateway is the address of the ASA. So, let's try to reach the ASA. Successful. And? Unsuccessful. Let's configure net rules. I'm back into the console of the ASA, and the most simple thing that I can do is to define the object group object group network name net lan network object and the whole network the whole internal network okay now net inside the interface that will be the internal one outside oh sorry outside, then source, dynamic, and then the name of my object here. That's all. What? Oh, I forgot about the interface, the word interface. Excellent. Now, From this moment, each packet com which comes from the inside to the outside interface will be translated, the source of this packet will be translated uh, to the address of the interface. Interface means the interface outside. So let's try to ping something. This is my router. Let's try to ping one more time and it is unsuccessful. Why? Because we have forgot about one thing. This is known as the inspect of traffic. So when we send ICMP from here to here, it is ac uh, accepted by the ASA, but the incoming uh, reply is not accepted. You can see it here. Show net. Look, translate hits 3. So we have sent some pings, they have been translated, but the replies was not accepted. In order to do this, I have a template, and we need to add to the configuration the string. Each of these strings will already be in your configuration, but I do not have at all. So, I'll copy this and paste it into my firewall. Excellent. Now, let's try one more time. Oh, successful! Look here. Ah. Show net. Okay, this will be 
uh, regarding the SMP. From this moment, when everything works fine, and you have tested the connection from the LAN to the Internet and it worked, it is time to implement the security features, such as implementing the access lists. Let's create the rules for our firewall. The first will deny all traffic from our internal LAN to the Internet to any address uh, using the ICMP protocol. The second rule will uh, allow traffic from our internal host, our test host, to the address with 8888 address, but using only TCP with port 23, the Telnet protocol. And the last third string will deny all other traffic. I'm back in the configuration, and so the access list with this name, it may be any other, extended deny ICMP from our LAN with mask to any. The second string will permit TCP traffic from host of our test computer, which is test router, to the address, to the exact address, using the 23 port, 23rd port, which is Telnet. And the last one will deny, deny any to any and log. Now, deny IP, which means any protocol. Let's look at our access list. Three strings. It will not have any influence on our traffic until we will make an access group and assign it to the interface. Access group, then the name of the access list. I advise to copy, not to type, but copy each names when you make any configuration in Cisco, in Juniper or any other equipment. So, access group in interface inside. Enter. Now, show access list. We can look at our access list, not only the strings, but we can look at these, hit count. When the packet will come from the inside interface to the outside, from uh, to any address, it will be counted here. So, from this, from this moment we have all zeros, here, here and here. Let's return to the LAN router and try to ping something, for example, 1111. Of course, it will be unsuccessful, but here we can look here. Three hit counts and the line number one worked. Deny a SMP from our LAN network to anywhere. Now, let's try to ping our 8888 host. It is denied too. The only thing that is uh, acceptable from now is to c connect to the uh, router using the telnet. So we return it here, connect and the address. Successful. Admin, admin, and here another router, internet. We can look at its configuration. Here is its real address, here is its loopback, and there is no default gateway. Now moving back to the ASA. And one more time, show access lists. Look here. 10 denies and 1 permit. So only this traffic is accepted and you can look here. If you would like to add a rule, 
I advise to place it to the first place. So, for example, I will need to permit any other traffic. I don't know. Um, uh, let's accept pings to our 888 host. So, access list. Let's try to copy, not to type. And I need this. Permit ICMP and then for our internal host. Oh, by the way, we can use our object group. Object group. Let's copy this. Then host 8888. And that's all. But we should place line 1 here. Now let's show it. Here. The line is placed on the first place. First it is uh, the uh, line with the names here, the object group, and then the line with the addresses. If we will put uh, several objects here, for example, okay, let, let's show it. I will come to the object group. Where is it? Where is it? Here. And add here, uh, for example, another network, another insult, uh, internal network that I don't have. Uh, 20. It's only for showing you. Here. The string with the letters without hit count, and then the two strings with the correct addresses. And both are with line 1. Here. Okay, from this moment you have basically basically configured Cisco ASA. You have uh, the interfaces, you have the default gateway, you have net rules and even access rules. So from this moment everything works fine. You could also find the text version of this article and others on my website deltaconfig.com and I wish you good luck with your configuration of Cisco equipment. Like, subscribe and good luck!